What is up, Zulmates? In this video, we're gonna be recreating the instrumental for Kyoto by Phoebe Bridgers from scratch. You might be thinking about flooding the comments right now, saying, hey Zul, Kyoto is not a good representation of Phoebe's sound. And before you do that, Freeze, punk. I'm actually on your side. Garden Song, by far my favorite song from her. And that's, you know, the usual kind of sound from Phoebe Bridgers. It's very slow, very, si very sad. If you want me to remake Garden Song, Motion Sickness, Georgia, one of those slower songs, let me know in the comments. I will be more than happy to. Also, my new single, Sunrise, it is dropping May 6th. By the time you're watching this video, it's probably out. Let's hop right into this beat. Here we have Ableton, which we are going to be using to make this beat. You can use whatever doll you have, though. The first thing that we're going to be doing, the first thing that we're going to be doing, setting the BPM to 131, because that's the BPM of the song. Now, as you can see, we have an audio track right here. Let's change the color to red. Let's rename it and call it bass. This is going to be like step one of that Phoebe Bridger sound, and that is to keep the beat on the lower frequencies. That's what really makes her vocals shine on the top end. The bass riff is starting on the one on this B, and then you move up to the four with this E, and that's just going back and forth on the verse. You might have also been able to tell that I'm holding a pick. I'm gonna say sorry, but I'm also gonna say that I'm not a bassist. So, you know, it, I, I, I like the sound of, of a, a pick. All right, hit metronome, hit record, hit record, let's go. There we go, we've got the bass now, and we also have some markers that are structuring out this song, so as you can see, verse one. So we're gonna throw in a mono CLA 76, and we're just gonna compress this bass, make it sound a lot more thick, if you know what I'm saying. So. I like it, I like it a lot. So I do this to all of my basses, highly recommended. We're gonna be throwing in an audio effect rack. So this is what the audio effect rack is doing. I'm gonna create two chains. I'm gonna call it, nice. I'm gonna call one low, and then I'm gonna call the other high. Basses, you want your basses to be mono, but if you want some stereo width, if you wanna give it that kind of wide feel, split it into two chains and have the low be focused on the lows and be mono, and then have the highs be focused on the mid range, but have those stereo. You don't wanna make the lows stereo. Let's throw in an EQ8 on this low end, and then let's also throw in a utility Clicking this mono button, just making sure that it's mono. It's already mono, but you know. There we go. Our lows are now focused on the lows, frequency-wise, and it is mono. And I'm going to turn off this separate chain. So right now, we just have this one chain right here called lows. All of the highs are gone. All of the character in this bass is completely destroyed. And, and uh, that's, that's not chill. So let's throw in the highs. Now let's throw in an EQ on this high chain right here, and we're gonna be taking out the lows that the low chain is focused on and kind of give the highs some distortion. Let's click on stereo wise, and let's throw it on this high chain. There we go.
we now have a group for the bass and two extra added tracks. So let's solo both of them. Let's move on to guitar. All right, we have a new audio track and we now have the guitar. Let's record. All right, Zolmates, we now have our guitar recording. So let's listen to the doubled guitars first. As you can see, one is panned 50 to the left, hard pan to the left, one is panned 50 to the right, hard pan to the right. So you're gonna hear them on both sides of your ears. It's gonna sound very, very nice. I want them to be a little bit more, you know, choppy, kind of like these uh, muted guitars down here. So. I'm going to change them to the beats warping method. And as you can see, it's kind of ducking the volume every eighth note, and that's just gonna make it sit a little bit better with this bass. Add the muted guitar. Let's mix these guitars now. So we have these distorted guitars, let's do them first. And the way I'm gonna mix them, I'm gonna do the same method with the parallel mixing like we did with the bass. So let's go ahead and copy those audio effects and then let's freeze this bass. Let's save up some, some CPU. Because my computer kind of screaming at me. And while this freezes, if you could, smash this like button. You know, it helps a lot. That'd be nice of you. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna set this compressor. So let's go to this low channel. We're not gonna be mixing it the same way we did with the bass where there's lows and highs. It's instead gonna be dry and wet. Basically, we're gonna have the dry signal, which is just gonna be the regular, you know, guitar. We solo it. And then on the high channel, instead of it a high channel, it's gonna be called distortion. So this is when we're gonna be throwing in the distortion. So now that it's soloed, there we go. Now let's copy these effects, let's paste it into this right channel, and then let's move this to the left. So now the mixed guitars doubled sounds like this. The next thing I did was I added this EQ and I took out the lows and mid lows. I don't want to get in the way of this bass. All right, now let's mix these muted guitars. So let's mix it basically the same way as we mixed the guitars with the doubles and we're gonna go to the muted, paste it in. Let's take out the erosion. kind of boost up the distortion. So let's make these muted guitars really distorted. The next thing we need to add to this track is gonna be some stabs. So just throughout this song, you're gonna hear some. All right, here are our stabs. And then what I did was I added the chorus strums and I muted these chords. I've been recording for almost three hours, so we're gonna stop for the day. Welcome to tomorrow. I also went ahead recorded vocals, and I mixed that in a separate project. I'll be making a separate video on how I mixed these vocals. Day off in Kyoto, got bored at the temple, looked around at the 7-Eleven. We also now have an intro. Let's go ahead and right click. This guitar sounds a little bit too clean though. If you listen to the intro, the guitar definitely sounds like kind of destroyed. It has this radio effect, which is basically 
taking out the highs and taking out the lows. Day off in Kyoto, got bored at the temple, looked around at the 7-Eleven. Yo, quick interruption, if you're liking the way that I'm producing this song and mixing it so far, be sure to check out my store. Um, I would love to help you mix and master a song. I would love to help write a song with you, and I would love to help produce a song with you. This is gonna sound so nice once we add the drums, but let's go ahead and add that kind of toy piano melody in the intro that goes like... I'm pretty sure they used a toy piano for that melody. I don't have a toy piano, but I do have a Mellotron. 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 That sounds good. Moving on to the trumpets. I'm pretty sure you- yes, there we go. So, there's a tenor sax, a trombone, and a trumpet. Here are our trumpets for the chorus. So, as I said, low trumpet, high trumpet. And if we press A, turn on the automation, you can tell that I'm automating the volume of these trumpets to kind of die out. Time for drums. New project. And look how beautiful this is. 0% CPU. I mean, if that... That doesn't make your day, I don't know what does. Insert audio track. Snare. Let's go to my Zoll drum kit volume one. You already know the vibes, gotta get the plug in there. I'll still on the bump snare for now. So the snare rhythm for the verse is just like that. And then for the chorus, the snare switch up and there's actually a snare on the one. And it goes like da. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's mix this snare. Let's throw in some some snare buzz, which is a free plugin, goaded plugin. It'll make this snare sound a lot more lively. Snares have been updated a little bit, and I also added a third snare for the chorus. Kicks. Throw in an audio track. Let's go to our kicks. Let's try to find like a live sounding. Let's go with this boy, the ire kick. I think that's it. Okay, next up is going to be the little like toms. I think that's gonna work. Shouts out Travis Barker, man. Legend. I mean, I like that one, just instantly. Zoolmates. We are finished. I got a little ahead of myself. I apologize. And we now have the open hats. I can barely think. Stream.
sunrise and I like the way it's sun Soulmates for life. Also, if you want me to make some master song viewers, check out my store. Peace out.